Well, folks, we've been talking about it, and here it is. Elon Musk and Jack Ma agree the biggest problem the world will face is population collapse. Hmm. So, <clears throat> when it comes to the future of humanity, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Alibaba founder Jack Ma disagree on whether people should be scared of the potential of artificial intelligence. Ma is optim optimistic, about, optimistic about AI, while Musk is more apocalyptic. But the two billionaire businessmen do agree on the biggest problem the world will face in the future, not enough people. Most people think we will have too many people on the planet. <clears throat> but actually, this is an outdated view. Musk said while well on the stage with Ma at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai on Wednesday, assuming there is a benevolent future with AI, I think the biggest problem the world will face in the next 20 years is population collapse. The biggest issue in 20 years will be population collapse, not explosion, collapse. I absolutely agree with that, Ma said. The population is going to be facing huge challenge. Uh, 1.4 billion people in China sounds like a lot, but I think next 20 years we will see this thing will bring big trouble to China, and the speed of population decrease is going to speed up. You called it the collapse, he said to Musk. I agree with you. Yeah, accelerating collapse, Musk said. Fears of overpopulation due to immigration are short-sighted, according to Musk. The common rebuttal is like, well, what about immigration? I'm like, from where? Right. <laughs> That's a good point. And this is something that we've had this conversation about, right? Because not only is it right that North America is going to collapse, that you have Europe and Asia, Oceania, and, you know, I mean, uh, North and Latin America. So the only place to get more people is going to be Africa, right? Musk said Ma will be aggressive about their time, may be aggressive, may be aggressive about their time frame. But by 2070, the global fertility rate is, uh, is expected to fall below global replacement fertility rate. That's the average number of children each woman needs to give birth for the population to replace itself from one generation to the next. According to a recent analysis of United Nations global population data from the Pew Research Center, the current global replacement rate is 2.1 births. The global current population rate is 2.5, but it's expected to fall to 1.9 by 2100. Fertility rates vary widely, but Africa is the only global region expected to have strong population growth through 2100. Populations in Europe and Latin America are projected to be declining by 2010. Asia's population is projected to increase through 2055 and then to begin to decline, according to Pew. For some reasons, especially in poor countries, rising fertility rates cause a burden on the already stressed social infrastructure systems. But in countries like China, a slowing population is cause for concern. For example, due to decades of birth restrictions in China from the 1970s until 2015, Chinese couples were required to only have one child. Ever-increasing economic opportunities for women and increasing longevity, China now has a lopsided population. There are not enough young workers to support the growing population of older people. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Yeah, this is all due to feminism, all right? I mean... I'll be honest with you, it doesn't legitimately sound like a bad thing. Like, you know, if you have kids now, they're going to have a better life than you did. And then their kids are going to have a better life than them because they're going to live in, an, in a place where housing is going to get cheaper. Goods are going to get cheaper and the world is going to get better for them. Like coming up through, there's going to be more jobs for them, more opportunities this is a great time to have kids because the people who have kids right now in Western societies, those kids and their grandkids are going to be the inheritors of a great world that, you know, I mean, feminism has created because nobody has any fucking kids. <laughs> Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett agree. Now is the best time to be alive. Jess Bezos' job listing for Amazon's first hire, you have to exceed what most competent people would think possible. Elon Musk backs presidential candidate Andy Yang, who advocates giving Americans $1,000 a month. Well, that's all see also stuff. But anyway, so yeah, what happened? You know, we gave females rights, right? And they decided to destroy society with those rights. It's a beautiful thing. Legitimately, it really is. You know, so we're not going to have the money to be able to pay for the social programs that these females continue to vote in the office for. It's beautiful. 
it's it's the most beautiful thing ever all right legit you know they're gonna end up you know i mean having the young people tell them to go fuck themselves because well let's be honest here eventually the old is not going to be able to rob the young because the young are the young you know what i'm saying like yo they had the guns and ability and not so much numbers but they'll have the ability to stand here and tell them to go fuck themselves it is what it is so it's going to be a beautiful time to be alive here in the next 100 years so don't lose hope yet fellas you know what I'm saying? Legitimately, don't lose fucking hope yet. I'm Pisa Pinoy News. You know the situation. Peace.